So, I think my favorite food place in Wazuka will be the Obubu office. <laughs> when I bring some cake and some pastry I made during my internship and the Obubu staff was like, oh, so cool, you made it, you made a cake for us, and especially George, <laughs> when he tried it, that he was like, Oh, amazing, Mathilde, <laughs> Sugoi. <laughs> so yeah, I think my favorite place will be Obubu office just to remind, remind, remind me the different thing I made during my internship and to see just the Obubu staff uh, tried it and like it. But more seriously, there is another and I could say also the Mochi factory. So thank you, Laura, to just transmitted me your food addiction for mochi because now I'm uh, and I'm also sorry um, addicted to mochi so just to eat some mochi I made uh, in this factory with mochi man <laughs> was one of uh, my favorite food things for to eat mochi <laughs> favorite place to drink a delicious cup of Obubu's tea I think will be just the fields for example Aoimori fields when I sell, spend a lot of my time in August to go to wedding with Miwako-san and Kaio-san to wedding these fields and like the tea break was like a gift to drink here, yeah, cold brew was so refreshing and to see all the fields and the evolution of the wedding because at the beginning it was like a jungle and now it's very clean so it's like so proud of us to made it and to eat all the fields with yeah with Miwako to Kayo to the other intern and yes I think Aoi Mori is the best place to drink a cup of tea. <laughs> so, um, my best experience in Japan was just to arrive in Japan because, yeah, the first week was so fast and so intense just to discover the place, the people, the, in the objective of, the, of this internship like uh, when I arrived there was like the welcome party I was like okay where I am who are these crazy people and then we had the hand rolling and picking uh, events with the other intern it was so nice to just uh, make the tea by yourself and drink it after also we go we went to the onsen and to the first restaurant I made in Japan I ordered a big plate and of course I finished it and yeah it was so cool to spend some time with the other intern and to just discover the, the place and yeah, the people the Obobu stuff yes that's it <laughs> My best memories in Wazuka was in an afternoon in August. Uh, I just worked with Akisan for all day, all day, sorry. And on the afternoon, we went to a field. Don't remember the name of the field, but we just spent uh, all of our time to waiting uh, from maybe 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. But I didn't realize the time was gone and we just talked a lot, a lot, a lot with Akisan and for the Japan culture, the tea, the French culture, uh, the different, our different passion and so many topics and just I didn't <laughs> saw the time was gone and at the end the, is the sun was getting uh, setting already and the landscape was just amazing we just yeah yeah it was just amazing and 
it was just waiting but to talk and to yeah to be on the tea fields with in Wazuka yeah, and with Akizan it was so nice and so good memories for me. Yeah. The thing I will miss the most in this internship is just I think the kindness of the people. Um, during August, in my internship, I was alone because all the intern was gone and the new intern was not here for the moment. And so I was alone on the Obubu house. And the Obubu staff and the farmer, the friends, were so worried about it. And so they gave me so many things. So they was just so kind with me. And uh, yeah, I just can't forget this because it was so nice and also just the to be in Obubu and to work with the other intern with the Obubu staff on the office to drink a cup of tea with the other <laughs> see see all the little things who will miss me who miss I miss the most <laughs> in Obubu and in Nuasuka to see the landscape and the tea fields and to know more about tea and yeah, that's it, I think. <laughs> what is my favorite tea? <laughs> Big question. I just... So, when the other intern goes, I just liked one tea, which is Kyobansha, and I was like, okay, I want to take a bag for me in the Obubu house, and I was like, maybe if the most bigger is quite too bigger for me, I will never finish it. So I took one, and I finished it in maybe two or three <laughs> weeks. So I just can't say now, uh, Kyobansha is Obviously my favorite tea because I can drink it warm and also cold brew. It's already yeah, it's always a, a good taste and I love it. It's very sweet and yeah, very simple to brew also <laughs> because I'm quite lazy and see if I forgot it, it's already <laughs> it's also good. So yeah, my favorite tea is Kyobansha. Thanks Saya-san too to transmit me your passion for this tea because I love it. Mm -hmm.